Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Akila with Young Majority. Now I will be presenting my final year project which is entitled Exercise Recommendation System for Diabetes Patients Using Content-Based Filtering. And my supervisor is Madam Nuziato Hamima with the Abdul Hamid. <coughs> okay, next, the presentation will start with the first section which is Introduction and Problem Statement. Introduction is a section where discussing about the overview of the project. As seen in the title, this project is mainly focused on physical activities and exercises. So, physical activities can be defined as any form of body movement that requires the consumption of energy. While exercise is defined as a movement that is planned and can be done in repetitions. As for this project, it will be using a recommendation system by implementing content-based filtering techniques that will be able to filter the similarities between user preferences and the item profile and choose the item that has the highest similarity. And next is the problem statement. Here, a few topics will be highlighted, which is first is the importance of exercising. Exercising are able to give benefit to every individual, which also include those who already have health problems. Exercising are able to protect individuals from chronic diseases or slow the development of the disease. Thus, with increasing age, elderly risk of developing health problems is high. By exercising, various benefits can be gained for every individual. And second, the risk of doing exercises that is not suitable. Doing exercises that is not suitable for body condition may lead to injury or worsen their health conditions. As elderly have a very frail body and individuals with health problems have limits of movement that they are able to do. And last one is by using the exercise recommendation system, the system can help in choosing the most suitable exercise considering their age and current health condition. Thus, helps in promoting individuals' health and lower the risk of any health problem or chronic diseases. And the second section is objectives. There are three objectives for this project which consist of first, to investigate the suitable exercise that support healthy aging. Second, to design an exercise recommendation system for diabetes patients using content-based filtering technique. And third is to develop an exercise recommendation system for diabetes patients using content-based filtering technique. And next is scope of the study. And scope of study focuses on the youth, adults, and elderly who is diagnosed with diabetes as a target. The techniques that will be used for this project is content-based filtering techniques, <clears throat> which it will use item profiles to find the similarity between other items and find the highest similarity with user preferences. And lastly, the expected output of the system was that it will be able to recommend exercises according to user age and their health condition, thus providing the duration and the frequency of the exercise. For the fourth section is significance of the study. The significance of the study is that the system can help individuals with diabetes to decide the suitable exercises that they can do based on their health condition. Thus, the system can also benefit the individu individuals to decrease the risk of chronic diseases and at the same time to improve their mental health, emotional, psychological, social well-being, as well as cognitive function. And the fifth section is the summary of literature review. Based on an article, physical exercises encompasses any activity that promotes energy consumption, while exercise in activity that is, that is structured and can be done in repetition. Physical activity and exercises are preventive factors for diseases that are non-contagious such as cardiovascular disease, stroke, diabetes, and some types of cancer, and it has also been linked to enhance mental health, delaying the development of dementia, and overall healthy lifestyle and well-being. And there are many types of physical activities which consist of aerobic activities, muscle strengthening activities, flexible activities, and also balanced activities. The next is diabetes, where diabetes is a chronic disease that can be identified by high blood glucose levels and abnormal lipid and a protein metabolism. 
Diabetes can affect many organs which can cause blindness, kidney failure, heart attacks, strokes, as well as lower limb amputations. Thus, it also can result in handicaps and shortens individual lives. Physical activities for diabetes patients help in improving glucose control, also other health-related issues. Other than that, it can also lower the factor of heart disease risk, aids in weight loss, also enhance individual overall health, thus postponing the development of the disease. <clears throat> the last part in this section is recommendation for joint technique. First, is the technique that will be used in the project which is contained based for joint technique. For this technique, recommends items that are similar to items that were previously liked by the user. It looks at previously rated items and recommends the best match item that is suitable for the user. And the second technique is the hybrid filter te technique, which is a technique that integrates several recommendation techniques to improve system optimization get more accurate and effective recommendations. Also, avoid some of the restrictions and issues associated with pure recommendation system, which is the content based veteran technique and the collaborative veteran technique. And the last technique is collaborative veteran technique. It's a technique that computes the similarity between the different uses based on the user particular behavior and other users who have similar behavior and it also able to filter the similarities between users and the other users thus choose the one who has the closest similarity the sixth section is methodology session <clears throat> the slide shows the phases of the project which consists of phase one pre preliminary study Phase 2, Knowledge Acquisition Phase 3, Data Collection Phase 4, System Design Next is Phase 5, System Development And proceed to Phase 6, Processing Evaluation And the last phase is Documentation On the next slide, it shows the research framework for the first objective where it consists of preliminary study phase knowledge acquisition, data collection, also as data pre-processing. For the second objective, the phases that is involved is system design. Last but not least, the third objective consists of many phases also, which is system development, system evaluation, and also the last phase is documentation. For the last section is the results of the system section. This slide shows the results for the first user where the user has input his or her preferences. For this case, the user chose gym as the preferred lifestyle. For category, user chose the cardio activity which is equals to aerobic activity. The activity level is moderate exercise and the age of the user chose is adult. And as shown in this slide from the image, there is a list of recommendation that is generated by the system. The list consists of 10 exercises with the highest similarity among other item profile that is closest to user preferences. And the result shows exercises such as skaters, jumping jacks, step up, cycling, jogging, and other else exercises. <clears throat> the listed exercises are indeed among exercises that is included in aerobic activity, thus exercises that is suitable to, be to do based on their age. The time and repetitions are also shown in the list where the time shown are 2600 seconds and 1800 seconds, includes with the repetitions that need to be done by the user. And based on the results, it is then compared to the guideline for diabetes patient. From the, from the guideline, it stated that adults with diabetes are advised to perform aerobic exercise at least 150 minutes per week with the intensity of moderate to rigorous. And adults also are able to engage with a shorter time minimum at 75 minutes, but only with a higher intensity, which is rigorous intensity. And aerobic exercises consist of activities such as cycling, walking, swimming, or running. 
and by doing sufficient aerobic exercises, it could help in enhances the control of glycemic and keep it at the optimal level. And that is all for me. Thank you. Now I will show the demonstration of the system. The exercise recommendation system was built by using Streamlit, which is an open source framework that helps in creating web applications and is being used to develop the website for the user interface. Here, the screen shows the interface when user open the website. From the screen, it shows the title of the website, which is exercise recommendation system. The website are divided into three sections, which is Header section using info section and the recommendation section. In header section, it shows the title of the website as well as the brief introduction of the website. And for the user input, it asks the user to choose from each of the questions listed below. As we can see here, the first question is to select the exercise lifestyle. User can choose either gym or yoga. And next is the exercise category. The answer provided are stretching, yoga poses, meditation, upper, cardio, and legs and abs. And the next question is exercise activity level, which consists of light exercise, moderate exercise, sedentary, very active, and extreme. And as for the age, the user can refer on the additional notes uh, on the top of the section, which clarifies that youth should be individuals within 18 to 35 years old, adults is within 36 to 49 years old, and elderly is within 50 to 80 years old. And after choosing all the choosing the answer for all the questions, user can go to recommendation section and click on the show recommendation. After click the button, <clears throat> uh, the recommendation results will be out. So here is the recommendation result that has the highest similarity with the user based on the chosen preferences that user have chosen before. So here the results is consist are consist of ten of exercises. Uh, included with the lifestyle, category, activity level, time in seconds, repetitions that need to be done, and set that is need to be done by the user. So we can see here that the lifestyle listed here is gym, category is stretching, and activity level is like exercise. As you can see here, the, the lifestyle, category, and activity level is the same as the user has chosen in the input section before. And here is the exercises that is recommended recommended for the user based on the input that has been chosen by the user and that is the end of the demonstration of the exercise recommendation system so that's all for me thank you